experts are turning really to the moments before the crash. WRL's Destiny Patterson talked to a local historian who says it's a crucial part of understanding how this all unfolded. Having been a former merchant mariner, I can tell you the worst sound you ever hear on a ship is silence. Because when you hear silence, that means nothing's working. Without power, that silence, deafening. Meanwhile, the pilot on this cargo ship was likely trying his best to get back online. And what happened here is this vessel lost its ability to control itself at a key moment. From 124 a.m. to 126, we can see the ship's lights go out, come back on, and then cut off again. Just two minutes later, that ship crashes into the bridge's pillar. A port worker told CNN the ship was docked for two days before the crash due to a severe electrical problem. Sal Mercagliano is a maritime historian at Campbell University. He says there's a clear need for more investment in maritime infrastructure. We just don't put enough resources and personnel to ensuring that vessels are safe in operating in our waters. And protection for bridges. Uh, we don't have the barriers built around them. They're built too close to the channels. That was a bridge built 50 years ago, 47 years ago. And at the time, ships the size of the Dolly were, were not even foreseeable. You know, there was no idea we would have a ship that big. What do you want people here in North Carolina to know about something that happened states away? There are key things in each port. And in the case of Baltimore, it's coal, it's sugar, it's salt, it's, it's liquefied natural gas. And it really demonstrates really the fragility of our global supply chain. Destiny Patterson, WREL News. And the stall will be for some time. The professor says, and we've been hearing this from a lot of professionals, that entire bridge will need to be removed from the river there. And that cleanup could take weeks or even months.